All right, so this is kind of the main bulk of it here, right? We've got a lot of questions to go through, right? Well, at least it's a bit of in-depth. So rating from satisfied to dissatisfied, strongly agree to not to strongly disagree or not sure, and very good to very bad. How satisfied are you with the ability to dribble as you intend? To be honest with you, I'm probably on a five or four here, lads. Being 100% legit. Dribbles feel neutral, natural and realistic. How strongly do you agree with this? Again, I would probably say a four. The collisions are the biggest problem. It's not the attacking based um, ways. Finding ways to dribble past the opponent in one v one is interesting and fun. I mean, that could be a bit better. I don't know how they do that, more animations, but yeah, it's probably middle of the road, I would say. How would you rate the responsiveness of dribble commands when playing it versus AI? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, we're basing this on everything can always improve. You're never going to have the best of the best of the best, but I am not going to be, you know, I'm just going to go straight in. Comparing with versus, how would you rate the responsiveness of dribble with online? Then I would probably say, compared to offline, I would probably go two. How satisfied are you with the ability to pass the ball the way you intended? Yeah, it's middle of the road. I mean, the pass assist controls that. It's fine. I was able to pass the ball to the intended player. How strongly do you agree with this statement? Again, I would probably say middle of the road. Sometimes it's hit and miss. The biggest problem is the defense, which we'll get to, I hope. The ball physics for passes feel natural. Again, the ball physics need a big improvement. Ball speed, I would say that needs an improvement. Accuracy of one-touch passes. Yeah, I mean, way too overpowered. How satisfied are you with the accuracy of true balls? I would say the same. They're a bit overpowered. Um, how would you rate the responsiveness of pass commands when playing versus AI? Um, I would probably say middle of the road as well. Comparing with AI matches, how would you rate the responsiveness of pass commands when playing online? Um, that has to be lower than that. How satisfied are you ability to shoot? Yeah, I mean, the shooting for me... It's fine. I mean, if I'm giving some of these two and three, I have to give the shooting a big one because it's fairly easy. I'm able to put the ball wherever I want to put it. It's very rarely that I'm fighting for control. I think they've kind of got the shooting pretty decent. So I wouldn't really want them to touch that apart from adding more animations, more variability, or variability, variability and variety. Um, like these could always be improved, but if I'm going to be giving them low scores here, I want it to be a very big difference between it. Uh, ball physics and animations for shots are realistic yeah I definitely agree that they've improved these a good bit um, how would you rate the responsiveness of shot commands when playing shots are fine I would say the shooting is fine apart from stunning shot it's fine how satisfied are you with the ability to perform feints feints are too slow lads they're way too slow how would you rate the responsiveness of faint commands when playing I would say there and there I think that's fair right how satisfied are you with the variety of feints? Again, they're, 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 apart from double touch, there's no point in using them, really. How satisfied are you with the ability to make traps and control? I'm very satisfied with that because I do that a good bit. The responsiveness is definitely improved that way, which is why I think I'm winning a lot more games. Realism of ball physics need work. Middle of the road. How satisfied are you with the ability to defend the way you intended? Again, the defendant, I'm fine with the defendant, right? I would go here. Um, but it needs to be toned down a bit. How defense controls are intuitive and easy to perform. I mean, I do agree with that because they're they're way too e easy. Um, I would say middle of the road with that because they're too easy. And I would say that the responsiveness is fine. Um, responsiveness online is fine. Players will actively and aggressively fight for the ball. How strongly do you agree? Yeah, I do. I wait. This could be up here, man. This could be up here. This could be up here. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, interceptions feel natural and resist realistic. No, I wouldn't agree with that at all. The responsiveness has been way improved. I'll give them credit where they want that. How satisfied with you with the goalkeeper's abilities? Yeah, perfect, fine. They're a bit overpowered. They've got a couple of stupid animations like the trampoline ones. Um, I can notice a distinct difference between the play styles. Yeah, I would say that that's kind of come to the fore. Yeah, I'm happy well. enough with that as well. They fixed that a bit as well. Um, how satisfied are you with the realism of player movement and animation during matches? Again, I'm I'm fine with that, lads. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, I, I obviously, the more animations you can add, the better. The presentation lead up to kickoff gets me excited. How strongly do you agree? I mean, well, when there's nothing to play for, no, not a thing. How satisfied are you with the pacing of versus match AI matches? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually happy with the AI matches. Very happy. Um, how satisfied are you with the pacing of online PvP? Not perfect, but I enjoy it. 
Lags during online matches were within an acceptable range for me. This is a tough one, lads. This is a tough one, man. This is a tough one. Matchmaking times are fine. Um, but this is a tough one for me because I'll be honest, I have played probably 85% of my matches where they haven't been bad. But the 15% of matches that have been bad, I've really struggled with them. So I think I'll go here, middle of the road. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. How satisfied are you with the realism of spectators? I mean, that's fine. It's not a big issue for me. The current menu design, again, it's fine. It's not a big thing for me. I mean, it's personal choice. Probably go here. How would you rate the usability of the game plan? The same. The connection status shown during matchmaking accurately depicts the actual network quality. I would say that that's kind of in the middle of the road. I was able to insert... Yeah, I would agree with the stunning shots and stunning passes are fine. Um, I felt the stunning pass one is an effective kick. Yeah, it is super overpowered. Um, stunning shot is super overpowered. Versus AI, match, AI matches are entertaining. Yeah, I would say so. And I would say that the game is overall entertaining. Yeah. I would say that. Please share any more information. Defense is the big one for me. And to continuously um, to continuously put the, the animations at the forefront, man. That's the big thing that I like. And that's what it's going to be all the time. I will tell the same opinion to whoever asks it. But people don't want you to say that you enjoy certain aspects of the game when they're not enjoying it. And people that are loving the game don't want to criticize it. So you just have to be straight out with yourself, man. What's enjoyable for you? might not be enjoyable for me or vice versa and if you're enjoying it enjoy it if you're not enjoying it there's loads of other games out there to play but i'm not going to apologize for enjoying eFootball 2024 is it where i want it to be no is there content there and modes no but the core gameplay for me 1v1 is better than it was in pez 2021 that's just my personal opinion i loved co-op in pez 2021 i don't know will we ever reach that fun mode of co-op with the gameplay and the craziness of it and the skill level that came into co-op in PES 2021. But 1v1, I think this core experience is better for me personally, for what I'm looking for in the, in, in the gameplay. Okay. So yeah, look, it is what it is, man. There's a lot of room to go. There's a lot of room to go. There's pros, cons, as everyone will say there in the chat. And I appreciate that, lads. I mean,